Hi guys, welcome back to DAT. In this little video, we're just going to go over the binding procedure for this Tiny Hawk 2. Sit there, let's get it bound. So like I said, this is going to be just the binding procedure for your Tiny Hawk 2. So here it is. Here's the quad in question. Now for your bind procedure, what you need to do is you obviously get your controller. Please turn your controller on first. It is on. One, two. Only two flashes there. That's in the wrong protocol. So we will change the protocol on this to D8 mode. It needs to be D8 mode, guys. That's what these Hawks all rely on. To change the protocol, turn your controller off. And there is the bind button. You need to press the bind button and press the starter button at the same time. Motors, release, starts flashing. One, two, three. Three pink flashes. That is now in the correct bind mode protocol. Protocol? Yeah, sorry. It's now in the correct protocol. So that is in D8 mode. I will link at the top here somewhere the actual um, video I did, which goes in depth about this. Check that out if you're unsure. So that is ready to go now. Here's your quad. And what you're gonna need for your Tiny Hawk 2 is a battery. I'm just using the 1S battery for this. The bind button, as I remember, is located at the front and at the side. So there's a small button just here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the battery in. And you would get it starting up. So there it is flashing. You see these lights, these blue and red lights. What you need when you press the bind button, I've lost it again, it's very small. When you press this bind button, press it only once, you will, you will hear it click. There will be a slight click. When you click this or press this, the blue light will go solid and the red will carry on flashing. There we go. So hopefully you can see that. Blue's gone solid and the pink is still flashing. Yeah, it's better to see on there. Blue solid, pink flashing. There we go, ready to go. Now, all you need to do, let me zoom in a little bit for you. All you need to do on your controller now, press the bind button and these lights will start to change. Bind. This flashes, this starts flashing as well. And that beep you can hear is because it's just buzzing away. There you go. It had the lost buzzer on. So that to me is ready to go. It's actually bound perfectly so I would be able to start the motors. And that is it guys. Sometimes you get a little error with these and sometimes you need to actually recalibrate your sticks. I've got another video about that, which I will link at the top also. It's as simple as that, guys. It shouldn't be complicated. Just to show that this bound absolutely fine. The arm switch is normally this one on your controller. There she goes. Easy as that, guys. If you have any issues, please refer to my other videos. It really shouldn't be complicated. It should be that easy to actually bind these. Sometimes when you bind it, you will get still a flashing red light and that indicates there is an error. And the most common problem is that these sticks need recalibrating and that will be linked at the top. Hope that helps guys. Thanks a lot. Hit the subscribe. Cheers, bye.